What's up guys? We got a very scientific video for y'all today. We've been looking forward to this one. We got these Acubo SOS systems and essentially what they're designed to do is limit pin movement and float. So today we have four different shooters, four different bows. We're gonna shoot a couple shots with no, uh, no Acubo and a couple with, and then with the Mantis, we're actually gonna measure uh, the pin float essentially. So we should have a numeric value on if this works or not. And I'm excited to see. I've heard good things, but I've yet to try it myself. So let's get to it. Joey's first up to bat. We uh, got the Mantis X10. Uh, this does both bows and firearms. Uh, essentially, you can see right here on my phone that it'll, it tracks your stability. So there's gonna be three different, three or four different uh, motions through here. It'll start off teal, that's when you're coming to your draw. It turns uh, green when you're starting to pull in, uh, yellow when you're starting to find your anchor point, and then orange when you're holding. And so we'll go through the hold uh, diagnostics of your shot and see which way you're floating. It'll show, it, basically it'll break it down to your uh, up and down float and then your left and right float and I'll show you after I take a couple of shots uh, what I'm talking about right here. How'd the float feel? <clears throat> it's good. It would be nice if uh, this bubble didn't move slower than molasses, but and that'll show how out of camp my bow is uh, when I take my shot. So when we look at the diagnostics of each shot, you'll get a better idea as to what I'm talking about. Okay, right. grab those two. Stop. So hold is what we're looking at. But basically down here, you'll see the orange. And ideally when your stabilizer is set up correctly, you don't see any white uh, on the line that the, the orange is tracking. All right, so I just did a couple shots with the Acubo on and I just removed it to see what the difference in my stability is. Right now, this bow feels extremely light, so I'm sure it's going to move quite a bit. <clears throat> Might want to put one of those in there. How did the hold feel? I just, I'm automatic, dude, so it's kind of hard to tell a difference, you know what I mean? Um, I didn't hold very long. I'm going to try to hold longer on this one to see if the mantis reflects more or less movement. Right. That one, I can definitely tell quite a bit of, quite a bit of movement. And I mean, you can see from my shot, of, my first shot was great, second shot was off to the left, but I did notice my pin was, was moving a heck of a lot more. Okay guys, I'm gonna flash the first chart right here. Uh, there is, they're going to go in order of shooters that you see. So this first one is Joey's. And the main thing that you're wanting to look at is the orange lines at the bottom. The top one represents your up and down movement. The lower one represents your left to right movement. The left one will always be without the Accu Archery SOS. And the right is with it. Uh, you want to see as little white as possible and as much orange on that white line as possible. So that's what you're seeing uh, in these charts that'll follow each shooter's section. So no Acubo on the Proven 34 right now, uh, but I'm gonna do two shots without it is a little bit windy. We're doing this outside, so that's going to make a difference on our on our holds for sure. But do what we can. Oh, 
perfect can't. Yeah. You're from zero to one percent, which is... The wind was blowing that sucker all over the place. Yeah, it's, it's such a trip to watch this thing. <laughs> that one was good. Didn't know wind on that one. So you can see I mounted it different than how most people normally do, but I don't believe it really matters if it's like front to back. Um, some people will put it on the stabilizer like Scott did. Some people will put it facing back that way, more like a back bar. I like it here because it's tucked out of the way. It doesn't make my bow any more bulky or anything. And the, the, the theory of it, I think, still will work just fine. So my float is right to left, so I need to adjust it just a little bit. We'll try a couple shots. You're just, you hold It slows so the movement a lot. A lot, you can tell too. So keep in mind, I've never shot a back bar. Right then, that, that changes a lot. You can actually feel those wires kind of moving a little. I think, oh, granted, that was my first shot ever with it. I think you could sit there and like do shots and just rotate it a little bit each exactly. time until it feels right. How was it? That felt good. That's you can incredible. You feel the wires a little bit. It's crazy. So we can, you can replay your shot. Okay. I think your second one might've been even better. Yeah, look so, at that. Look at those orange lines. Completely orange. Yeah. Your hold. Look at that. Perfectly orange. There's yeah. no, no white. Before yeah. you had a little bit of white, especially this that is more works. magnified when you look at I know at the that's release. crazy, but you can feel it work. Now I would adjust it a little, but the cool part is once you have it set up, you can use that Allen to spin those wires. I would sit indoor preferably and just adjust it a tiny bit each time till you go, oh, that's that's it right there. That felt good. So you have an observation, this one's facing, it's oh, forward yeah. toward the target, where it facing backwards yep. off the back of it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. It's all about tinkering. Too, I just right like how it was forward, but you can mess with all that stuff. Yeah, you so and you don't even have to pull it off the bow. You just pull the the wire part off. Yeah. Put it on the back or the other side of yeah. of that bracket. See if that makes a difference. Yeah. But I mean, all right. Well, Brianna's up next, baby. How does it work? When does it start keeping score? It, as soon as you draw. Yeah, oh, once yeah. you draw and you start to settle down. Bullseye. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, forget this thing. That was a good shot. <laughs> uh, go for number two? Yeah. All right, go for number two. Good about the shots. <laughs> yeah, <you know. laughs> Just gotta make it happen sometimes. Oh, he's first place between the two shots. He's got 94.7. Yeah, nice. So your first shot was 95.3. I think he's giving you a run for your money, James. So then we'll go the hold. He's got stabilizers on, but that is not what we want to see. You did have a. I don't know why it says so much movement on your left to right, but probably just. I don't know. Probably just getting in the pocket. Nice. Cool. Good work. All right. Thanks. Head to toe gas bow strings right We got to grab a Sharpie and Sharpie off these. That this ABB. <laughs> Very nice. Scott, your, your first batter up for the complete spread. Yeah, let's try it. I'm interested to see. Let me adjust the camp real quick. My bow has a lot of stuff on it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it does add, I mean, you can see here how much it It's got the Mantis, inside. it's got the I mean, Accu. Head to toe gas bow strings right We got to yeah. grab a Sharpie and Sharpie yeah. off these, that this leggings, ABB. <laughs> Very nice. Scott, your, your first batter up for the complete spread. Yeah, let's try it. I'm interested to see. Let me adjust the camp real quick. 
My bow has a lot of stuff on it now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it does add, I mean, you can see here how much it It's adds. got the mantis, it's got the I mean, good. Where's the mantis? On the front bar. But oh. go, oh yeah, mountain well, is nice right there. Piece, yeah. Hey, shout out to Tricer Tripods. Yes, uh, code Team BD can save you money on Tricer.com. What do you think about that? Yeah, TBD, uh, anywhere really. Podiumarcher.com, uh, padlands.com, uh, bowdisciples.com, maybe. <laughs> Here we go, batter up. All right, let's give it a try. Mike Tyson! Do it, you did it. What did I do? <laughs> it looks like a 12. Good. <laughs> I think. <laughs> it did, really. I don't understand. It did, it did it tighten up your, your right and left float. Okay, shoot another. Nice shot. There we go. Now I want to see these says. numbers. Yeah, I'm very interested to see this. I gotta, I gotta think there's gonna be some left and right. My original thought was I wanted it because I've had this kind of anxiety lately of my pin dropping off the, the dot. I've had some panic. I don't know where it's coming from, but uh. So I'm interested to see if which one's more. And then set it up accordingly. Oh yeah. Oh! There you go. Hopefully I used the right pin. That held surprisingly steady for that gust that came through. We tightened it up a little bit or pretty decently. There's still some fine tuning we could do. So we could yeah. probably try to uh, turn it, a little it bit. like 45 degrees uh -huh. and see if that helps. Cause now you have about the same amount of movement up, up and down, down as and you do as right left and, and left. left. So yeah. I could use one of those kind of angled adjustments. So no if you turn it, like James is saying, start tweaking that angle of like not perfectly up and down or not perfectly sideways, start to play with the angles until you find the one that eliminates both and gets it pretty equal for you. Yeah, you can also adjust like the that bar as well. So you can adjust where you have your weight kind of sitting mm -hmm. at. That's what, this thing just opens up a whole, whole new wormhole of tinkering for me. Yeah, well, I, I feel <laughs> no. that this video will definitely come with a follow on now just because of the amount of questions it's opened the door to. Oh yeah, um, and I mean, we're by no means professionals. We're figuring this out just as we go, you know? We yeah. didn't sit here and, and research this thing for for days or weeks before shooting this video. We said, hey, this is a cool product. Let's let's see what we can notice with the gear that we have. And Yeah, and reality is probably a smarter person. You know, we would have been like, oh, let's do this in a controlled environment indoor first at 20 yards, like strip bows. And we came straight to like the environment you'd be shooting animals in right off the bat. So it'll be interesting to then go to an indoor environment more controlled, see mm -hmm. how it goes and then come back to the outdoors, like with a setup that you feel is more dialed for you in the angle and whatnot you use it at, and then come outdoors and compare your very first time outdoors with and without the mantis. Right but here is very obvious. So my first one went from 80 or so scott was first his went from 92 stability score to 94.7 yours went from uh 90.2 to 93.5 yours went from 89 to 92 and mine was this one but it had all of them combined but I had about a five point jump too. So yeah. 
So right off the bat, it does show that it works. It does show more stability. Yep. Interesting. I'm excited to do a follow-up to this. Probably it'll be a little while. We got some stuff coming. <laughs> Cameraman's tripping. But uh, all in all, a good product, I would say, that needs slash we want further testing. Yeah. It'll give me some time to research it more as well while you guys are off on your adventures. So many adventures. Anyways, like, subscribe. Glad I joined this, you know, at the end of the video. <laughs> Came in for my part. Now I'm going to leave and go get some water because I'm feeling anxious. Thanks uh, time for to watching. buy the boys a round of beer. <laughs> Let's go.